Hello YouTube. Today's tutorial is about how to create table view on Windows Store app. You see, table view is name used by iOS and Android calls it list view and on Windows they call it list box. This tutorial is about something looks like this. We have list and to click it, it will do something and this application I made it simply printed out on the console which item I choose. And which row number is choose so Thursday row number is zero one two three is a three right okay and Friday Saturday of course and if the list is not longer than the height it's gonna automatically scroll it oh. Let's start with a new project. Let's make a Windows form. Uh, it works with Windows app too, but let's make it simple. I'm gonna name it Listbox Tutorial. Okay, there you are. Let's open the main user interface and in the component part, find a Listbox. Oh, there you are, Listbox. Place it and layout, make it bigger. Stretch, yeah, I like that stretch. Because uh, it rotates the screen, it also stretch set it as uh, auto uh, height auto width and let's name it the list box with uh, uh you know small l and now let's open the code make a list of string i'm going to name it strings and i'm going to define it here but you can do it later any list uh you can make and display you remember the name of the box right list box with the small l we are going to use that and bind it to the list we just created and how to do it is there you are uh, item source that's it item source of our uh, list box is string list we just created that's it that's a very simple way of doing it so let's run it it's gonna display it there you are that was easy it's not pretty yet but we're gonna change that and also it doesn't have any functionality when we click the item right let's make it prettier first go to the interface inside the list box it's a closing cell but to add something we are going to create another closing uh, let me make it bigger and inside we're gonna create two uh, component uh, first one called list box dot item container style that's right that's a uh, individual container of the item in the style we just gonna uh, set the width as you know automatically stretch to the main list box uh, property and inside that we're gonna set the property as horizontal alignment and let's set the value as stretch okay, and then close it uh, and y is giving the error let's specify target type oh okay right yeah let's skip that and let's set the uh, target type equals okay list box item there you go yep so this uh, container is type of list box item so each items uh, container that's what it means and next uh, we're going to create the data uh, what is the data template yeah right list box data template this is more about you know the texting of each item okay and inside that we're gonna set data template and here the border we are uh, going to display the border line right so here we are going to set the border thickness and by setting it uh the end of it one that's uh, probably left or right or top and bottom i just want to display the divider on the bottom of each container of each item so that's why i said zero 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 one and uh let's set the color of our line and let's make it gray if it's black it's, it's not gonna be pretty yep so let's make it gray and let's set the text style you can set you know font and size here yeah i know this this is kind of confusing and complicated and the window doesn't provide you know user interface on this uh, in the future maybe or you know they already have it and I haven't found it yet I'm gonna set the text style text log you know. Because basically inside each container there is a text block displaying the, the item, isn't it? So let's say font size a little bigger, uh, and then you know color. Uh, yeah, grid column is inside uh, the item box. If you wanna you know put something else, you can set it as 
uh, you can do that uh, set like uh, you know image in it but we are uh, just uh, displaying text so I'm only doing the text block but as I said you can add image in it and display it okay that looks like it and let's uh, run if it's better okay. oh and uh, you know don't forget the uh, text is bound on the code uh, that's what it is let's run it okay it's better oh and uh, let's make the background in white and uh, okay yeah let's make it all white that, that looks better and you can also do it here too okay much better and why the line stops at the end of the text hmm, something wrong okay, let's go back and see what we're missing uh, that's what it is um, horizontal alignment in the style container style it should be something else it should be a horizontal item or container Contain, there you are horizontal content alignment yep that's it so it's not gonna stop um, with the text it's gonna go all the way to the end of the container itself mm -hmm. see it's much better okay good it looks better we, we don't have functionality when we click the list right so let's do that go back to the code and let's add some functionality when selection changes oh yeah there you are and add some method oh they're suggesting the method name that's very kind and they suggest to make the method that's very kind okay. so that's uh, what this means is uh in this list box if you just click an item uh plus equals means run this method here and so if you put anything in here it's gonna run whenever you click item what i'm gonna do is just simply you know print out on the console what I choose and what's the index number of uh, row row number so console doesn't work anymore uh, so you have to add uh, diagnostics and the name is not console it's debug and right line how to get item that I choose uh, still we're gonna use list box and then selected item it's that easy print it as a string and I wanna print out the index number too and that is also very easy uh, list box dot selected uh, selected index there you are to string okay that's it so uh, you know if you want something else uh, you can uh, do whatever you want to do inside this method if you want to change the page and you know display this uh, data on other page you can do that and i'm gonna make another tutorial how to pass or you know, use variables between pages and uh, how to change the pages let's run it and uh before we do this uh, do you notice this number is very annoying right so let's get rid of it first do you remember the first thing it opens you know app jamal inside that there's a if debugging yeah that's causing the number so let's get rid of it and now run okay the number's gone that's much better and when I click the item, it's gonna show up here. And let's start with Monday. What? Oh, shoot. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna throw. Let's get rid of it. Okay. All right. And let's start with Monday. It's saying Monday. And the raw index number is zero. And Tuesday, or number one. Wednesday, or number two. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It works great. All right. So that's it. How to make a list box or list view or table view on windows store app it's very easy except the part of how to make the style of the list but the way of binding and the way of method is very easy it's, i think it's easier than ios or uh, android so enjoy programming windows uh, store app uh, thank you for watching and see you next time